EpiPens are a medication that is an injection containing epinephrine. People that have EpiPens use them to treat anaphylaxis and potentially life-threatening allergic reactions. There are many signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis that include shortness of breath, coughing, throat tightness, weak pulse, hives, and many other signs. Every person's symptoms differ, but the severity of a reaction can increase after multiple occurrences, so it is important to act fast and know how to administer an EpiPen. The first most obvious step is to avoid allergies. If in a situation that an EpiPen is needed, then first you need an EpiPen with the correct dosage. The yellow pen is used for adults and the green is used for children. Then flip the cap open on the tube and slide out the pen. Make sure to hold the EpiPen with the blue tip up and the orange tip down. After it is out of the tube, remove the blue cap that serves as a safety release by pulling straight up without bending or twisting it. Never put your hands near the orange tip because that's where the needle is. If an accidental injection occurs, get emergency medical help right away. The needle is designed to go through clothing but is more effective if inserted into bare skin. The pen should be injected into the outer thigh for quick absorption. Do not insert EpiPen into veins, hands, or feet because if the medication is not injected intramuscularly, then the rise in blood epinephrine is not as effective. After the safety release is removed, then swing and firmly push the EpiPen into the outer thigh at a right angle while standing up. You should push it into the thigh until you hear a click that indicates the injection has started. Then hold the pen on the thigh for 10 additional seconds before removing the needle. When removing the EpiPen from the thigh, the orange tip will extend to cover the needle since it's designed in a way to make it easier for injection and disposal. Adults should attempt to hold the leg of young children during injection to prevent injuries that may occur. After the EpiPen is used, get emergency medical help right away by calling 911 and watch for any side effects. If you forget how or are confused, there are instructions printed on the EpiPen, just in case. They also have now designed a new EpiPen called the AviQ that has voice automated instructions and a retractable needle. Now you should be able to inject an EpiPen if ever needed.